Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we are back with my summer essentials video. I do these every year and you guys love them, but I really tried to offer some classic staples, of course, because that's just who I am as a person. I love the classics, I love the basics, but I tried to offer also a fresh new twist on some of these that make you stand out, that make you not look like every other guy. I don't want any of you guys looking like cookie cutouts of each other, and I really think experimenting with textures and patterns and fabrics can be a really great way to elevate your look this summer. Number one, we have a crisp white t-shirt. So t-shirts are obviously a staple and a must have for summertime. These are one of the workhorses of your wardrobe, especially in the warmer months. I say white specifically here because I think these are great for the summer. These can be worn on their own with pretty much anything, but they can also be a great layering piece for the summertime. Maybe you are wearing the t-shirt alone during the day and then you throw on a cool denim jacket later in the day when it gets a little bit chilly at nighttime. Obviously this is going to change a little bit depending on what the weather's like and where you live but I really do think that every guy should have a couple of white t-shirts in his rotation and I say white here just because it's the most versatile I think it's often nice to wear lighter colors in the summer so you don't feel like you're having a heat stroke wearing a black t-shirt and soaking up all that sunshine so white is a really great option for the summer of course you can experiment with any color you like blues great different neutral colors can be really great but white is just the basic number one thing that every guy should have number two we've got a linen shirt one of my all-time favorites for the summertime when you're thinking about summer and dressing for the warmer months, you really wanna choose natural fibers instead of synthetic. Synthetics tend to trap in moisture and reduce breathability, so something like a cotton or linen is going to be far superior. Linen shirts are one of my all-time favorites and I absolutely love the same as Oxford button downs when you roll that sleeve up a little bit and show some forearm. It is summer after all, so don't be afraid to show a little bit of skin. Linen always looks really effortless and is perfect for a hot summer day because it's light and breathable and quick drying. Since it's so breathable, I think I would just go with a long sleeve and then roll up the sleeves like I mentioned. If you're into the short sleeve type style, there are plenty of short sleeve linen shirts out there as well to choose from. And that leads me into my next style here, which is the short sleeve cotton button up shirt. I love the neutral colors for these, but you can really go with whatever works best for you. Stripes are obviously a really great option as well. I think that those are one of the more tasteful patterns out there. However, I have seen a lot of other patterns that I like for the summertime, especially. Summer is the time to have a little bit more fun and be playful with your wardrobe. Um, maybe you're going to a pool party or a barbecue or something like that, and you wanna be the Hawaiian shirt guy. I think that's totally fine for the summertime. So again, there are a ton of tasteful patterns out there, but if you're not really a pattern guy, I get it. I'm not really a pattern type of girl either. Experiment with textures instead. There are a ton of different textures out there that can give this pretty basic look a nice little refresh. Number four, we've got the full placket polo. I love these. I'm pretty sure my grandpa had one of these in every single color. I don't know if it's a nostalgic thing for me, but I just love the retro vintage vibe of these. They've become really popular the past few years and I am all here for it. These just tend to look a bit more elevated and fresh to me than a traditional polo. I love a polo, don't get me wrong, but I know a lot of you guys don't like them because they give off Catholic school vibes or like you're going to play 18 holes on a golf course. These just look very chic to me and are incredibly easy to dress up or down. I would personally love these with a pair of chinos and a pair of loafers. Love that look. Number five, we've got the chino pant. Of course, I had to bring the chino pant on this list because this is your denim of the summertime. These are gonna be the workhorse of your warm weather wardrobe and can pretty much be paired with anything. You could dress these up with an elevated polo and loafers or go for a casual style with white sneakers and a short sleeve cotton shirt. Again, the options are endless here. These are just a really great thing to have in your wardrobe in the spring and the summertime. They're not gonna be as stiff or stuffy as a pair of denim. As much as I love my dark denim, they aren't really logistically or functionally the best for a hot summer day. Number six, again here with the linen, we've got a pair of linen pants. These are the ultimate summer pants. They are easy, breathy, breathable, nothing more perfect for summer. Keep in mind that these are going to wrinkle and it's more than normal, it's totally okay. These are one of the only pieces of clothing where it's actually acceptable if this wrinkles while you're wearing it. You can most certainly give these a good steam before you leave the house, but I guarantee when you sit down, you're gonna stand up with a leg full of wrinkles. Don't be alarmed, linen is like the only time where wrinkles are acceptable. Number seven, we have a pair of shorts. I didn't get specific here because I think there are so many different styles out there to choose from and it really comes down to what you like and what your personal style is. 
Chino and linen are great for summer, but if your vibe is more athleisure, then a pair of sweat shorts might be the best option for you. So again, really find what works for you here. I do think that a linen short or a chino short is very versatile for the summertime. Regardless of what your style is, I think you can pull off a chino short and kind of make it your own style. Um, so you definitely can't go wrong with getting a pair of chino shorts, but I wanted to keep it open so that you guys aren't all just like cookie cutter versions of each other and you can choose here what works for you. Number eight, we've got the suede loafer. I love a loafer, you guys all know this. I mentioned these in my spring video and I decided to carry them into my summer video because they are just that good. These are perfect for the summer if you want to look a little bit more elevated or fancy without dying in a pair of boots or dress shoes with dress socks. You can opt for a no-show sock with these or you can just go sockless. I know some of you are gonna have very strong feelings about that. I understand it, I totally get it. It's up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. You can wear these with a no-show sock or you can wear them barefoot. Both get the stamp of approval from me. Suede does tend to give me a little bit more of a casual summery feel, but you can most certainly go for a traditional leather loafer if that's what you like. Number nine, we've got a pair of sneakers, and I personally recommend having a pair of workout shoes. These are going to be what you run in, what you go to the gym in, whatever your heart desires, and then have a separate pair of sneakers that's more of your smart, casual sneaker that can be worn with more casual outfits. I would really stray away from wearing running shoes with a nice outfit, um, unless you're going for more of an athleisure look. If you're wearing you know, sweatshorts and a t-shirt, it's totally okay to wear running shoes with those, even if you're not necessarily working out or going to the gym. I think athleisure is a totally acceptable look for so many guys and it looks great on a lot of you so definitely don't be afraid to wear them with that but when it comes to looking more elevated and put together and stylish I don't necessarily think that wearing running shoes with a pair of jeans or chinos is typically the best look so as I mentioned, white sneakers are my favorite. They're the most versatile. They're gonna go with more things in your wardrobe, but there are negatives too, like they're a little bit more difficult to keep clean. So if white sneakers aren't your thing, there are plenty of other smart casual sneakers out there as well that would look just as nice as a white sneaker, but white sneakers are at the top of my list. Number 10, no list would be complete without a stylish pair of swim trunks. Every guy needs a pair of swim trunks. I don't care who you are, I don't care where you're going. Having at least one in your wardrobe is a necessity. Finding a stylish pair is sometimes the more difficult task. Um, I typically like the solid colors, the ones that hit like in the middle of your knee or higher. I don't really like the long board shorts that come to your knees. If you're a surfer, of course, you might have to wear the longer board shorts. Actually, I don't even know if that's true. I've never surfed before. I don't know the surfing apparel rules uh, or what you guys typically wear. But generally speaking here, if you're not a surfer, I tend to like the swim trunks that hit at the middle of your leg or higher. I really like the shorter look, maybe not super short, like we're on Baywatch or something like that, um, but really going for the more fresh new styles is always really nice. You can definitely have some fun here with your swim trunks as well. There are so many different styles and patterns out there to choose from. If you're a guy that is the life of the party and you wanna have little flamingos on your swim trunks, that's totally fine. Up to you, but just find a pair that fits you nice and that you feel confident in. Number 11, we've got a nice pair of sunglasses. These are great for protecting your eyes, obviously, but they also look nice too. So here you get the style and the functionality combined into one. Obviously they are meant to protect your eyes from the sun and to make sure that you can see while you're doing things, um, but also they're meant to look nice and be stylish. So make sure you're getting both of those in one. Truth be told here, there are a lot of really unfortunate looking sunglasses. And of course, this is all subjective. So just choose something that you like, that you feel works with your face shape and your features and that fits your personal style. Number 12, we've got a hat. And again, I kept it pretty open here because I think there are a ton of different styles out there that would work depending on what your personal style is. So the style you choose here is totally up to you. If you're a casual guy, I would opt for maybe a baseball cap. Uh, if you like to get a little fancy, then maybe a Panama hat would suit you better. There is no right or wrong choice because the choice is yours to make. Either way, these are gonna be an extra layer of protection from the sun and a bad hair day, so must have. And last on my list here is a summer fragrance. Keep an eye over on my fragrance channel because I actually have some summer videos that are gonna be coming out. But in particular here today, I just think having a summer fragrance or a versatile fragrance that you can also wear in the summertime is key. Think refreshing, light, citrusy, a cool splash of water or a tropical vacation. A summer fragrance should fit the occasion. You could go for something with lemon or bergamot or something aquatic with watery notes. Again, the choice is yours to make. There are so many different fragrances out there to choose from, um, but I really love summer fragrances. They just give you a nice little refresh and a pep in your step. Um, you don't wanna be wearing something gourmand and sticky on a hot summer day. So finding something that fits the weather and the situation that you're in is key here. 
All right, guys, that is all I have for my 2022 summer essentials. If you liked this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. Love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. And let me know down in the comments what your number one must have summer essential is. Would love to hear what all of you love to wear down below. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.